Group 1 elements are six elements located at the far left side of the periodic table after hydrogen. The chemical symbol for these elements are for lithium, for sodium, for potassium, for rubidium, for cesium, and for francium. The six group 1 elements are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium are also known as alkali metals. The table shows that alkali metals are silvery just like other metals. However, it turns dark when exposed to the air and water. As we go down the group, the metals are actually becoming softer. They can easily be cut using a knife. As the atomic radius increases, the distance between the valence electrons and nucleus increases. This means that the electrons are loosely bound. During a chemical reaction, lithium donates this electron to attain the noble gas stability. A cat ion, a positive ion, with a charge of positive 1 is formed. The number of shells filled with electrons increases going down group 1. This will increase the atomic radius from lithium to francium. Changes in the melting point. The table shows the melting point increases with the atomic radius as going down group 1. This is because as going down group 1, the atomic radius increase. As the atomic radius increase, the force of attraction between particles decrease. Less heat is needed to break the force of attraction between particles. Therefore, the melting points decrease going down group 1. Alkali metals also have low density, especially for lithium, sodium and potassium. These elements have very low density that can even float on water. Look at the graph shown on the screen. Generally, the density of group 1 elements increases going down from lithium to potassium. For example, the density of lithium is 0 0.53 grams per cm squared, while for sodium, it is 0 0.97 grams per cm squared and potassium is 0 0.86 grams per cm squared. Alkaline metals are good electric conductor. This is because the alkali metal can transfer heat easily. When the number of filled electrons increases, the atomic size and density of the elements will increase. The heat and electricity reactivity increases from lithium to potassium. Since alkali metals are very reactive, let us first learn some safety precaution when handling alkali metals. Never touch alkali metals with your hand, especially when your hands are wet. Use a pair of forceps to take the metals. Only cut the metal when needed and cut it into very small pieces. This is because large quantity of metals can ignite and cause explosion. Do not leave these metals exposed to air at any time. Always keep them in paraffin. Paraffin is a colorless, odorless and translucent liquid. Make sure that there are no inflammable organic materials near them as they can cause to fire.
Let us now do the first experiment to show reactivity of lithium, sodium and potassium with oxygen. Cut a very small piece of lithium with knife, then dry it with filter paper. Use a pair of forceps to place the lithium on the scoop of the deflagrating spoon. Then, heat the scoop on Bunsen burner. When lithium begins to burn, plug it into a gas jar filled with oxygen. Now, add 20 cubic centimeter of water into the gas jar. Then, shake the mixture. Finally, add 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein solution in the mixture. What can you conclude from the change of color of the solution? The solution becomes alkaline. When this experiment is repeated using sodium or potassium, similarly observations are obtained. Let's now find out the reaction and reactivity of lithium, sodium and potassium with chlorine. Cut a very small piece of lithium with knife, then dry it with filter paper. Use a pair of forceps to place the lithium on the scoop of the deflagrating spoon. Then, heat the scoop on Bunsen burner. When lithium begins to burn, plug it into a gas jar filled with chlorine. Write down your observation in the table. Let's now find out the reaction and reactivity of lithium, sodium and potassium with water. Use a pair of forceps to take lithium and then drop lithium metal into a bowl of water. Take a piece of red litmus paper and dip it into the water. Write what happens to the red litmus paper in the table. Now, use a pair of forceps to drop sodium into the bowl of water. Take a piece of red litmus paper and dip it into the water. Write your observation in the table. Finally, use a pair of forceps to drop potassium into the bowl of water. Take a piece of red litmus paper and dip it into the water. Write down your observation in the table. Click on the blinking button to proceed. How quickly the metals move on water also shows reactivity of the metals. Therefore, the reactivity order of these metals is lithium, sodium and then potassium. Meanwhile, lithium, sodium and potassium turn red litmus paper into blue. This indicates that lithium, sodium and potassium produce an alkali solution. Based on the results, we can conclude that the reactivity of alkali metals with water increases from lithium down the group. Let us look again at the proton number of group 1 elements.
If we look at the arrangement of electron for these elements, we can see that all alkali metals have one valence electron. Therefore, elements of group 1 have similar chemical properties. This means they exhibit the same chemical reactions. Even though they have similar chemical reaction, their reactivity increases as we go down the group. If we draw the electron arrangement for each element, we can see that these elements have one electron in their outermost shell. Lithium, for example, has a proton number of 3. Therefore, it will have two electrons at its inner shell and one electron at its outer shell. During a chemical reaction, lithium donates this electron to attain the noble gas stability. A cation, positive ion, with a charge of positive 1 is formed. Same thing goes with sodium. Sodium with a proton number of 11 will also have one electron at its outer shell. During a chemical reaction, sodium donates this electron to attain the noble gas stability. A cation, a positive ion with a charge of positive 1, is formed. The relation between reactivity of group 1 elements and its electron arrangement is its group 1 elements reactivity increases from lithium to francium because as we go down the group, the elements become more inclined to react and release their valence electrons.